Welcome to Classic Game Room Broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade with a Vectrex. This is Forza Horizon for the Xbox 360. If they could get Hyper Chase to work on the Vectrex, you can get this to work on the Vectrex too, guys. Come on. DLC. Oh, it's a review. Here's a little racing series you might have heard about called Forza. But this isn't your grandfather's Forza. This is Forza Horizon. A departure from the familiar as you explore an open world environment and compete in numerous competitions to earn cash, prizes, and new automobiles, as well as the radio announcer's phone number. Wait, no, that's old-fashioned. She says you can Facebook her. But only if you win the Horizon competition or whatever it is. And defeat a group of shallow, vapid, annoying competitors who can't drive all that well to begin with. So sweet you're joining us in this race. More losers make me look even better. Especially when I win and your car is upside down on fire. Forza Horizon is the game for those of you who love Test Drive Unlimited. In fact, they're practically identical. And as a fan of Forza and Test Drive Unlimited, that's not a bad thing. But instead of driving around Hawaii collecting cars and buying useless mansions, you're driving around Colorado. Collecting cars and destroying the hopes and dreams of your stupid competitors. Try not to choke. This has the familiar Forza upgrade system where you put as many modifications into your car as possible while still keeping it at a certain racing level. And there's a lot of races and various difficulty settings that you can tweak where the game really excels is its smooth gameplay. No matter how fast you're going, it never skips a beat. From the people at Horizon Base Arena. So what you do is explore, listen to the radio, and find competitions scattered throughout Colorado that you win for cash, prizes, and the next level which gives you a colored wristband. Each level unlocks new, more challenging races, and when combined with the open-world exploration, it makes Forza Horizon feel like it's escaped the track. There's track-style races, distance races, and don't worry, you can't really damage your expensive cars. Have you ever wanted to race a helicopter in a driving game? Well, Forza Horizons got that too, although after so many years of playing Spy Hunter, I should be able to just shoot it down. Let's talk about the music. You've got three radio stations to choose from, and the designers try to give Forza Horizon a big party atmosphere. And generally succeed. Most of the tracks in the game play it safe with alternative rock and dubstep or whatever. Normally I would complain that there's not enough Soundgarden, Ministry, or White Zombie, but they do have White Lies and New Order, so it's an acceptable mix. And pretty much anything sounds good when you bring down a Lamborghini with a Camaro. I'm jumping into this game after reviewing F1 2012 and as a racing game veteran, I'll tell you if you want to get the most out of Forza Horizon, turn off all of the assists and increase the difficulty. Because it's a mass market game, its default settings are really, really easy. But it puts up a fight when you tell it to. In fact, it's a really good driving game. It's the kind of game you can sink hours into exploring, winning races, and buying a collection of cars. The harder that you make each of the races, the more cash you earn. And there's a good road feel in Forza Horizon as well. You can immediately tell, even with the controller, that a Ferrari is different than a Corvette and a Mustang and GTR and so on. There's numerous camera perspectives. Each of the cars has a cockpit view. 
and the sound effects and surround sound effects are also excellent. I've got a lot of footage and some more things to talk about, like customization, your popularity level, multiplayer, and street racing, which I'll cover in part two. Until then, enjoy watching me slaughter a bunch of D-bags with a Corvette. <laughs>